Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you how to install Unreal Tournament 4 on Linux, so using the Linux client, native client. So we can start, first of all you need to actually download the, the binaries, okay, so the game itself. And you want to go to this forum page, okay, this link, I'll leave everything in the description as usual. And then you want to download, you actually want to enter the first post, which probably is the, the correct one, but you can just check here the the version. So the 1.7, 0, 0.171, so 0, 0.18. So just select the last one, which should be, as I say, the first post. Then from here you can download the, the, the client based on your OS. You want to click yes to get the Linux client. There is also an uh, Epic Launcher, but just for Windows and Mac client, as you can see here. So you want to press yes to download the Linux client, okay, and just download it wherever you want to download it, okay. I'm not going to do that, and actually the, mm, the file is actually 9 gigs, so 9, 10 gigs, so it's quite big. Then you want to CD to the directory where you download it. I initially downloaded it in my games directory. And by the way, I'm using the terminal. I do everything with the terminal so that it will be the same on every distribution, every window manager, desktop environment. It should, this is the same for every distribution, all right? Then you want to actually unzip the file. So type unzip and then Unreal, uh, etc. You can just type Unreal and then just press tab it should auto compile by itself I'm not gonna by the way re-download the, the file I know it's Unreal Tournament etc then it should take a little bit maybe some minutes depending on your uh, hardware then it will download this folder it will actually extract this folder plus some other folder okay so it's called Linux No Editor and what you have to do right now is just um, change a file and make it executable. So you want to type chmode plus x. You can, by the way, just change directory and go where, wherever you need by doing this straight from here. Then um, engine, I think, yeah, Linux, nope, binaries, Linux, and then it's called UE, let me just actually. Okay, there we are. So, Linux no editor, engine, binaries, Linux, UF4, Linux, and you want not the test, but the shipping. Okay. So, ch mode, make it executable, this file, UA4 dash Linux dash shipping. Okay. Once you do that, then you are able to launch actually the executable and as you can see we will probably uh, end up with an error message because as you can see here this symbol it means go to the previous directory okay change directory but go to the previous one so it goes back three times so from Linux it goes back to binaries to engine and to Linux no editor and actually if you ls, if you list what's in Linux no editor, we see that there is just engine and Unreal Tournament. So it tries to open a UA4 directory, which is actually the, the software, you know, Unreal Engine software, but it's not there. Okay, so that's the problem. So what you need to do is actually you need to run the, the executable and then tell him Unreal Tournament. Okay, which is there, as you can see. I can press enter. And as you can see, the game is running. Unreal Tournament 4. Then you can sign in, sign up, or just play offline. And then from here, you can just test the, the game. You can play some training or some deathmatch, but everything is going to be offline. You need to sign in, by the way, to play online. And that's it. Uh, just remember that if you play the training, you will have slightly better FPS than actually the real uh, game itself, you know, the, the real maps. I can just show you. Welcome to pickup training. 
I already did the video by the way of the arms training. And then you are able to test your uh, your game. You know. To see how it goes if you have some missing texture, etc. And that's it. In here you can change the graphics, everything you need to do. And you can also exit from here. Okay, that was it. Hope it was helpful. And just remember to put Unreal Tournament here. If not, it will try actually to to open the Unreal Engine for, you know, to, to actually create some 3D stuff. But you don't want to do that. You want to play Unreal Tournament in this case. All right, that's it. Hope it was helpful. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.